what's up with it y'all it's JD and I'm back with another quick video uh, today's video I'm just down here chilling at the beach checked out the sunset got in the water uh, just kind of chilling doing some thinking doing some meditating as usual but uh, anyways this is a topic that I actually was been thinking about over the past couple of days and a lot of times I like to think about things and let things kind of simmer on my mind before I actually make a video about them but the topic at hand today is really what is the number one attribute or what is the number one quality that a woman needs to have before you let this woman into your life in terms of like on a relationship basis. Uh, and this goes out to the young men out there. You know, a lot of these things can probably apply to women as well in terms of what type of attributes they'd be looking for in a partner as well. But I think it's a little bit different and I'm more so going to be coming from the perspective of a man in terms of the type of things that I've learned in the relationships that I've been in, you know, as far as good attributes that I've had and, you know, maybe some of the negative, good attributes that some of the women have had and maybe some of the negative attributes as well. But anyways, before we get into the video, uh, if you guys are interested in fitness, health, uh, travel, overall growth content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can get updated every time I drop new content. But let's get back into the video. So what is that number one attribute so and i actually want to rephrase what i said earlier i would say the number one attribute for letting a woman into your life if you're a man who's on your growth journey if you're in that kind of transformative state if you're somebody who's still establishing yourself and still you know have a lot of big and lofty goals ahead of yourself uh, and you want to be able to you know reach these goals so i would say that number one attribute is the fact that the woman is going to have to believe in you like a hundred percent matter of fact more than a hundred percent she's going to have to believe in you almost more than you believe in yourself it's almost got to be like a complete blind faith that this woman has in you if you tell that woman to empty out her your her bank account because you need to invest some money in whatever you're doing she's you know she might think about it but she's like okay well you know we might i can make it work you know what i mean that's the type of faith in the type of belief that your woman has to have in you if you know what I mean you're somebody who's on this growth journey if you're somebody who's you know chasing after success chasing after your lofty goals because you know if you have anything other than that if you have a woman who even slightly doubts you you know that could throw you completely off course you know I've been in many relationships in my life and you know I've been with girls who didn't have that much faith in me faith in me and then I've also been with you know women who have had complete faith blind faith you know even more faith in me than I've actually even had in myself and you know I could think of I, I probably I could think about a, a girlfriend that I had back in California and I remember man I used to have this vintage clothing business that I used to do in uh, Japan and it was just a complete fail um, you know, I didn't make any money on that. As a matter of fact, I lost money in that business. But anyways, it was cool. You know, it was a learning experience for me anyways. But at the same time, I remember they used to have this thing called First Fridays. First Fridays in Oakland. So every first Friday of the month, it was like an art festival, right? So you could, people were out there selling their art. They're out there showcasing their art, maybe showcasing their fashion, whatever. You know what I mean? Me and my girlfriend at the time, we were taking a lot of the clothes that I couldn't sell in Japan and you know she was out there with me hustling you know what I mean she was out there with me grinding you know uh, selling vintage clothes she was damn near more active in it than I was and we were selling clothes at the uh, Oakland art the first uh, the Oakland art fair the first Fridays and the funny thing about it is is that you wasn't even supposed to sell vintage clothes at the first Friday but we was doing it anyway so she was willing to do whatever she was actually down with me on like multiple multiple aspects and it was you know that's the type of woman that you need in your life somebody who if you have an idea you know she's gonna be out there rocking with you i remember one day uh, i was in oakland again me and my homeboys was going to like this uh concert i think it was either like devin a dude or currency or something like this this is way back in the day uh but i remember uh man it was a dude who we had met and he had a japanese wife she was from Japan. He had met her over there and had came out to America. And I remember they were outside selling hot dogs in front of the in front of the, the show or whatever. And you know, there ain't nothing wrong with having a business where you sell hot dogs in front of the show. But I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, man, this woman that came all the way to America 
You know what I mean? She out here grinding, like, in, out at night, you know what I mean? Helping this brother sell hot dogs in front of, uh, uh, I forget what the name of that, that venue was. But anyways, that doesn't really matter. It used to be called Sweet Jimmy's, but they named it something else. But anyways, they was outside, and she was just with him on his grind, you know what I mean? Whatever it may be, hustling to get them to the next level, you know what I mean? And that's the type of... That's not even necessary. That actually is a woman who's actually getting in the mud and getting in the trenches with you. But honestly, you really just need a woman who has faith in you. If you're starting a YouTube channel, you know, if you're starting your own business, if you're somebody who's making investments, if you're somebody who wants to go into real estate, whatever it may be, you need somebody who's going to support you and somebody who can doesn't necessarily need to see the vision or kind of envision it themselves, but they need to believe in your vision. They just believe in you so much to the point where they know if you have a vision and if you believe in it, then they believe in it too. So I would say that's probably the number one thing that you need to look for in a woman who, you know, who you're dealing with when you're still on your grind, you're still on your growth journey. And in all, in all reality, you know, we're all on our growth journey or we should be all on our growth journey. I don't really care what level you get to in life. We all still have room to grow. So no matter if you're a millionaire, no matter if you've, you know, com uh, super excellent in whatever sport that you play or, you know, you've achieved all these these uh, accolades and you've won championships, you know what I mean? There's still more out there for you to accomplish. You know what I mean? It might be in a different field or a different endeavor, but you can still grow as a person. You can still grow physically, mentally, spiritually. So if you have a vision, you have, you know, some something that you want to achieve or something that you want to attain, you know, the woman that you have in your life, no doubt about it, she has to believe in that, number one. Uh, and number two, she's going to have to, like, be willing to let you go out and grow and let you do your thing when it comes down to it. So if you're somebody who's into, you know, let's just say, for instance, you're a bodybuilder or you're somebody who's, you know, trying to make the NBA, right, or whatever it may be, there's going to be a certain amount of time that you're going to have to allocate to honing your skill set. So they have to be okay with you honing your skill set. So for me personally, if I was ever in a relationship with a woman who didn't like the fact that I go out and let's just say, for instance, if you accumulated all the hours that I work out every day, it might be like three hours per day. So I couldn't be with a woman who thinks that I'm wasting three hours per day working out or I'm wasting, you know, two or three hours per day editing videos or I'm wasting time doing all these different things. Now, on the contrary, I've actually had a couple of relationships with women who just didn't have any belief in me at all. And, you know, I remember one time I had made a remark. I was in Hawaii and I was with this girl and I had made a remark and I, we were in like this, probably like one of the richest neighborhoods in Hawaii and I was just like, you know what? I wanna get, I'm, I, one of these days I'm gonna get a house over here. Like I'm gonna get a house. Like I want a house right here in this neighborhood. I love this park. I love this beach. Like this is one of my favorite spots in Hawaii. I'm gonna get a, a, a place over here. And she looked at me and was like, like, like what do you, who, who you think you are? You know what I mean? You know how much these houses cost? So for me right there, like we had probably only been dating probably for, I don't know, we might have been dating for a year or something like that. But pretty much at that point, I was like, I already knew in my head, I was like, this ain't gonna work. You know what I mean? If she doesn't even think that I could even, like getting money, you know what I mean? If you really wanna put your mind on getting money, you can get money. So if she doesn't even think that I have the ability to even make money, money or to get you know a certain amount of wealth or amass a certain amount of wealth to buy a house like then that means she doesn't even remotely have the amount of belief in me that she needs to in order to be in my life so for me personally obviously that relationship didn't work out but you know nothing against her you know it is what it is you know some people believe in you some people don't uh, but you know luckily I would say out of all I've had a bunch of girlfriends in my life I would say out of all the girlfriends I had in my life, I'll say 80% of them, you know what I mean, believed in me and they believed in me very thoroughly. I would say there are probably about 20% of them who didn't believe in me. And, you know, I had another relationship where, you know, this was actually a longer term relationship than the other one I'm speaking about where, you know, it was really, she only believed in me in terms of like, you had to show and prove. It's like she wanted to see the results before she actually put some skin in the game. But that's the wrong type of mentality to have when it comes down to somebody that you're really trying to give your all to. So 
if a woman's not really willing to give me her all, mind, body, and soul, I don't want her. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, it's like, that's actually something I've been thinking about in general, just in terms of dating in general. And now that I'm single and like dating, I approach it from a different aspect because I'm not really, you know, anytime you have a woman in your life, it's going to be a distraction to a certain extent when it comes down to the fact that, you know, you're on your growth journey or you're trying to achieve certain goals or trying to, you know, have a certain amount of success in life. So women are going to be a distraction to a certain extent, no matter what, even if they're a good woman. But the thing about it is, is that some distractions are healthy distractions and some distractions are unhealthy distractions. When you have somebody in your life who's only with you for certain reasons that have already manifested, then that means that if you, you know, scale down financially or maybe you get out of shape because you got injured or maybe, you know, whatever, the, whatever it is in your life, this person's going to take off running for the hills. But if you're with somebody who actually has that faith in you, that blind faith, that ultimate belief in you, they believe in you 150%, they're always going to stick around through the hard times. You know what I mean? Because that's that's their character. That's the, just the way that they're built. So, you know, super important. You know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of times we can get too focused on our grind and too focused on chasing after our goals. So a lot of times when we have a, a nice woman in our life, that's when that is a healthy distraction. Sometimes we cannot put 110% of our energy into you know what we're doing in life. We need that balance. We need to take a break sometimes. We need that distraction. We need to laugh. We need physical touch. We need all of these different things. We need you know all these different things that women bring to the table because they're essential. Like it is healthy to have a woman in your life. It's not healthy to just say, I'm gonna go in monk mode and just completely you know not date I'm, i do not believe in that so if you guys are you know watching these channels that are telling you leave women alone completely for a certain amount of time i do believe in solitude for a certain amount of time but at a certain point you know you kind of have to just have a little bit of balance you have to have a little bit of play and if you can meet the right type of woman to spend time around you don't necessarily need to get married to her you know it doesn't necessarily need to be all that but at the same time if you meet the right type of woman even if it's like more on a short-term type of relationship she needs to be the type of woman who has that belief in you and just is bringing overall positivity in your life but anyways guys i think my camera's gonna die pretty soon uh, if you guys have anything else to add to this topic leave it in the comment section uh, if you guys have any other video ideas or topics you guys would like me to cover leave that in the comment section as well i hope everybody's having a great day out there i'll holla at you guys later peace